YouTube, what is good? Welcome back to a brand new tutorial. It's your boy Jacob from Tiny Tapes here. And today I'm gonna to be breaking down how I turn this into this. So without further ado, let's hop right into the tutorial. This is actually a pretty simple effect. I'm not gonna to lie to you guys. It's only really one main effect you're gonna be applying. First, you wanna click on your layer and press Control D to duplicate it. Then you wanna double click on this layer here and you wanna get into rotoscoping. If you guys do not know how to rotoscope, I have a full tutorial on that linked in the description below on my channel. A lot of effects nowadays use rotoscoping, so I highly recommend you guys learn how to use it. So we're gonna rotoscope it and get it out of the way and move on to the next step. All right, and once you guys are done rotoscoping mostly from the background, as you can see here, we have the rotoscope layer. Now you want to duplicate the rotoscope and then turn on the background layer. So you have two rotoscopes and then the background. You want to click on the one in between. So you have the rotoscope on top and then the rotoscope in the middle. You want to go to effects and presets and you want to search echo. This is the main effect that we're going to be using for this tutorial. You want to apply echo on there. I recommend turning your number of echoes to around eight. What this does is it increases the amount of mozies there's going to be in the background and they have a little delay or decay on them. I recommend turning the decay to 0.7 and then final touch is going into your echo operator and changing that to maximum. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, I highly recommend checking out this video here, how to create a crazy glitch synthesizer effect. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.